What are you doing? Prepping for a robbery. I've had a good run of luck recently. Okay. Robbed a house up in Roanoke Ridge. Robbed a couple of drunken soldiers out near the swamps. <laughs> and what are you about to do? A stage. <clears throat> well, good luck. Well, do you want to come with me? Now, I was going to ask Sean, but he's too much of a hothead. What's the opportunity? A bank stage, and without much security. This feller was telling me about it a couple of nights ago when we was drinking. It's going to be coming right through, and the bank reckons the cost of security ain't worth the risk. Now, there'll be a couple guys, but nothing too serious, and lots of money. Easy money. Oh, that's always the dream of every thief. Easy money. Well, like I was saying, my luck is in now, Arthur. Well, then, why not? Who are you taking? I think we need a girl. See, I got a plan in mind. Well, in that case, Tilly, you free? We got some work. Sure. What kind of work? Stagecoach. Sounds good. Let's do it. Cross the left. Okay, follow me. There's a good spot where we should be able to cut it off northwest of Dewberry Creek. And uh, you're certain this information sounds, Bill? After that mess with the Cornwall stage, I want to make sure we're not riding into another army of guards. Yes, I'm certain. So what's the plan? I was thinking a little womanly distraction. I figured that much. But what's the story? Route, number of guards, you know, important details. Just do exactly what I say and you'll be fine, all right? How about we do exactly what Tilly says? I'd feel a lot safer. Because I've done all the groundwork on this. Next time she brings in a lead of her own, we'll all bow down, I promise. I'll remember you said that. You follow orders, you stay alive. That's what they used to tell me in the army. They kicked you out of the army. They did not. I beg to differ, Marion. Have you been going through my things? You shouldn't have left it out. Can you believe this, Morgan? I don't trust her any more than I trust that Kieran boy. I never have. Running with them foreman boys all them years. She could turn on us any minute. Just shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. You have no damn clue. <laughs> all right, just take it easy, you two. Get your minds on what matters, so we do this right. Let's cut up through the creek. In front of you. Sure. You know, this was the spot we first picked out for a camp. A dry riverbed? Yep. Who the hell suggested that? Mike, I believe. Well, that don't surprise me. Okay, here we are. Whoa! All right, so the stage should be coming from over there. What do you want me to do? Well, you just act dumb and silly and get the thing stopped. You know, like you do. And what you mean by that? Oh, come on, don't get all precious and stuck up on me now. I don't like your manners, Mr. Williamson. In fact, I think you're an obnoxious idiot. What'd you say to me? I didn't say enough to you, you useless half-man. Half-man? Half-man, what does that even mean? Will you two stop arguing? He started it. Here's a goddamn stagecoach. Yes. yes. Come on, both of you, follow me. What's the plan? There's been a change of plan. Yes. You act dumb and get them to stop. <laughs> 
Gonna blow it open. Stand back. Yeah, after chasing it all over New Hanover, with God knows who watching. Got it. Right. Let's split up, get the hell out of here. Okay, but you owe me my cut. Don't think I'll forget. I know, I know. Go on. I'll see you back at camp. All right. <laughs> 